this week something a little bit different again and it's big brash bold and american so today we are in a bullet mustang so the bullet mustang obviously as we all know from the famous steve mcqueen film bullet where there's obviously a very very famous car chase this is sort of a bit of a homage if you like to that car it's the same color it's got the same sort of styling cues no badge on the front etc etc it's a really really special car i've literally just got in it now to drive it this is the first time i've driven it and it feels wonderful to get in a car that still has a whopping great five liter v8 engine under the bonnet with 460 horsepower this has got 14 horsepower over the facelifted mustang just due to uh, the gt350 air intake which is sort of just let the engine breathe a little bit more it just feels like you're thrumming along in this yeah weird sort of nostalgic muscle car I mean we're doing 50 miles an hour in fourth and you can hear it sort of just sort of warbling away under the bonnet and behind you the exhaust the active exhaust on this car that it comes with on the on the bullet is absolutely wicked as well it sounds amazing <laughs> and it's just there's something really quite delightful about a big American muscle car in the UK it does feel quite big it's not you know I was driving a Toyota Yaris GR yesterday if you haven't watched that film yet please do go check it out and subscribe while you're there but this car could not be further away from that car that little 1.6 litre three-cylinder engine is an absolute tiny little gnat compared to the absolute sledgehammer under the bonnet of this car now the interior it's actually not as bad as i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be much more plasticky there are a few plastics in here that are not as good as the you know plastics from the rivals such as bmw mercedes-benz and audi and all the germans there are a few little bit that you know the open the glove box opener here it's pretty naff and horrible but you know who cares there are other little bits in here like that you notice that they've paid more attention to it it's got a bang olufsen stereo absolutely wonderful that's just an unnecessary thing but i'm sure it sounds amazing the steering wheel and the steering itself it's a lovely thing to hold it's got a big bullet badge right in front of you just to remind you that you've bought the range topper of this car the front end it grips nicely it's on these wonderful Michelin Sport 4S's again and we just deal with this sort of temperature and the fact that this car obviously has 460 horsepower it needs to have a little bit of grip because obviously that's all sent through the rear tyres yeah it's absolutely brilliant on this facelift model of the Mustang you've got the lovely instrument cluster in front of you which all lit up green it looks lovely it it really looks expensive as expensive as any of the other big manufacturers out there <laughs> yes she is an absolute monster what a wonderful bit of kit this is you can thrum along at low revs and it still has that wonderful feeling of being a large V8. But also, you can really climb up the revs and as it gets to over four towards seven, it sings, it sounds absolutely mega. <laughs> yes. Oh, I can. I like. I like this. This has got. This is a bit of me. This. Yeah. What a wicked, wicked engine. What an absolute tonic to all of the other cars out there that are all turbocharged and that all have flappy paddle DSG and PDK and DCT gearboxes. We want this nice six-speed, manly, long-throw shift with the 
cue ball on top of it, like from the Bullet Mustang of old. It's, yeah, what a cool thing. This car now has a proper rear suspension under this live rear axle, and it works really nicely. This one has the mag ride, which is a 1,600 pound option on the car, so it nudges it nearly towards 50 grand, but it seems to work beautifully on these roads. Down here we have the different modes. So in this car you've got normal mode, you've got my mode, which for track use, see manual. You have sport plus, which changes all the dials and makes the rev counter all change and everything. Yeah, that's quite cool. So you've got sport plus, which turns the noise up, makes it even more childish. You've got rev matching on this car, that's not me doing it, that's the car doing it. I've only just got, get it, got in this car. You can turn it off, I believe, and I would turn it off myself, but it seems to work really nicely in this car. And then you have all of the other childish modes like race track, so American, and drag strip. <laughs> drag strip mode. I don't even know what that means. Again, you've got all different fascias on the digital dash for each individual mode. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a real tonic to all of these cars out there at the moment that are, you know, that have gone so digital. This feels really analog. The steering feels analog. There isn't much feedback coming through it, but it's not, you know, it's confidence inspired. It's not too light and it's not too heavy. It's nicely weighted. What do we think about the looks of this Mustang? I think this Mustang, I've been following it a little bit today, and I think the rear looks fantastic. With the four exhausts, it looks absolutely mega. And I've always liked them, even before the facelift. I've always thought that this, this guise of Mustang looks fantastic. The lines are just right. I think they've you know, given enough styling cues to the old car but also it looks modern and sophisticated. The seats are very comfortable. They actually hold you really nicely, these Recaro seats. They're really soft in the bottom and they're really, really comfy. I could see myself getting on board with one of these and living with it on a, on a you know, doing a long journey on it. It's comfortable. This car, the damping is quite supple and it, it doesn't crash around. It seems to manage its quite sizable mass quite well. And I think there's also a lot to be said about the fact that this is on 19 inch wheels, which means there's a bit more rubber on the tires, which gives you a little bit more damping in that as well. And, and I think it looks wicked for it. None of this 20, well, look at me, 25 inch rims. No, it just looks cool being on 19s. I need to get on a bit, good bit of road again, because we, we need to let that sonorous noise fill the cabin and fill the outside around me. It's really childish. The guy that owns this car has told me, thank you, Will, for lending me this car. He told me that he's returning 24 miles to the gallon, which I find very, very hard to believe, but apparently he is. The brakes are quite servo assisted. They feel very strong, and these are an uprated brake, six piston caliper on this car over the normal Mustang. So they do feel stronger. But I mean, they only ha this car only has 14 horsepower more than the normal one, but you just get that extra braking performance. Here we go, should we put it in, let's put it in Sport Plus. So a lovely bit of road coming up here. Sport Plus. <laughs> Listen to that sing! Wow, it sounds magnificent. And it's dealing with this really bumpy road quite well. In Sport Plus, the accelerator pedal immediately becomes way more responsive. But that engine, it just fills the whole car. The whole car feels like it's fizzing. And also, let's be honest, you look as cool as Steve McQueen. In my mind, anyway, I look as cool as Steve McQueen. I'm driving a bullet. Yeah, it's wicked. If you've ever been worried about these cars and thought that to yourself, Oh, I don't know, it's an American sports car. I don't know whether I, whether I want one or not. Go and try one out. Go and try one, just as a little bit of something different. 
over what the Germans are producing and go and see what you think. It feels very well put together and it feels really quite enjoyable. Yes, it is big. Yes, it has a five litre V8. Yes, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna attack your wallet because every time you go near the throttle, it's going to want more money putting in it in fuel. But who cares if you can get something as cool as this? Thank you.